Hi everyone! So, we got a huge burst of 7 new deleted scenes from Sonic Movie 2. And I want to make it clear, I will not be removing the music or altering these scenes in any way to avoid the bot, as that would hamper the quality of this video significantly. I already did a check to see if I get claimed, and honestly, even if Paramount copyright claims this video and takes all the money, I, I literally don't care. I'm a raccoon that prioritizes making good content over making a couple bucks. So I'm going to play and do a reaction to every deleted scene, and I've heard from some friends that there's some absolutely wild stuff here, so I'm really hyped to check it out. It even includes one of the scenes from the original trailer that didn't make it into the movie. There's seven to go through, so I'll mostly talk after each one, because I don't want to take away too much from the experience. I'll also rate whether it was a good removal or should have stayed in the movie, as some of these scenes being removed is bogus. bogus. Oh, also like the first two seconds of each scene look super compressed. It is downloaded. That's literally just how it looks. So with all that, let's play the intro and jump in. Which, fun fact, is the slogan of the Xbox 360. I, I bet you didn't know that. I'm getting distracted. Play the intro. your instructions to a T, sir. From the Robotnik Manifesto, Section 5, Article 12. In the event of my capture, disappearance, or account suspension on social media, he can construct a secure safe, safe house built, built to my, my exact specifications and await my return. return. Jinx, you owe me a lifetime of servitude. I hope that's true, Stone, because goodness thrives when bad men do nothing. I don't know why Stone looked upset at that. Normally, he's happy to serve. Did my exact specifications include sprinkling my beautiful equipment with your decomposing epidermis particles? A what? <laughs> <laughs> I can hardly breathe in here. It's as though I was struck with new and ultra microscopic silico volcano coniosis. <laughs> Sir, I'm, I'm sorry, it's difficult to Google with one hand. Uh, it's a lung disease <laughs> caused by the inhalation of ash. <laughs> you ash whore. Whoa. Knuckles didn't like that joke. <laughs> There's something you should know. Is there? After you vanished, the government dissolved all record of your identity. Who, what? Those mouth-breathing pentagons. <laughs> they want to make me disappear. Like they did Taylor Lautner and the Sham Wow guy. <laughs> ever since I've been gone, humanity seems to have slipped into some sort of uh, cancel culture. <laughs> In any okay, event, that was good. it's getting harder to be diabolical. They also froze our assets and bank accounts. Cute. I love Jim's acting. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing a few seconds of crowdfunding and. High tech exploitation can't. I, I get they're trying to show he's evil, but that one's a little out. high five. Oh, down low, too slow. Oh. <laughs> I missed this guy. There, got gotcha, you. So abusive. Mother! I love it. I never met mine. And thanks for reminding me. <laughs> the final joke. Okay, that was all good. The scene from the trailer where Robotnik hit Stone, this is the scene where it's from. I love the guy holding Knuckles, giving the disapproving turns. <laughs> the Kickstarter joke was like a little like, okay, I get it, a little far. And combining this with the there's good people on both sides joke at the end of the second one, in that supersonic scene, I love that Robotnik is literally just like an evil Joe Rogan. <laughs> Overall, a great scene. I actually would want this to get included, but the Kickstarter part, mm, I don't know. I get it is a joke, and it wouldn't be funny if he like hacked and stole money. But I don't know, you know what? Good scene, you know what? I would include this one. While I didn't love that one part, there's enough funnies to keep me going. Now, second scene. All right, immediately look at that sticker, the bottom one, SBU. Remember that. Oh, hey, buddy. Get some good sleep last night? Good. Huh? 
Oh yeah, yeah. I uh, uh, uh Sonic is literally me. Can you repeat the question? Got some pancakes coming your way, fresh off the griddle, just the way you like them. They're so fluffy, <sighs> like buttery pillows. And now more you ever have that story. awkward moment We're when you put your head down in a pillow of pancakes and you burn your face because they just came out the pan? Oh, I hate when that happens. And I'm up, bright-eyed, bushy-quilled, and ready to start the day. The 24-hour news cycle is so exhausting. It might be time to cut the cord. Yeah. Um, hey, Sonic, I think we should have a little chat. I went up to your room last night to bring you some new comics, and, um... Whoa, 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 stop right there. I wouldn't come any closer because this little okay. hedgehog had way Funny too many Sanic chili scene. dogs. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm so embarrassed. Hilarious. Get out of here, quick. Oh, no. Here comes another one. Go. Now, save so yourself. funny, so oh, oh, oh. funny. I'm right laughing there. so hard. Ha ha ha. That's me laughing. Because I'm laughing so hard. Ha ha ha. End the scene. Oh my god. New content, please. Okay, bad plan. Let me make it up to you. They extended the sand scene like an extra 20 seconds. For you, madame. Voila! Wow. Uh-uh. Wow. Uh, you know what? Sonic is a okay. hopeless romantic. <laughs> How sweet. Sonic, we need to talk to you. And you know what? I think you two deserve some romantic alone time. He's an actual matchmaker. Okay, Sonic, I think we need to talk. Shh, Tom. Don't speak. Just live in the moment. All right, you guys, enjoy. I gotta go. God, I want Sonic to set me up so badly. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do this every time he sneaks out. I mean, he really classed up the place, but still. I mean, he's a teenager. He literally has to blow out like 50 the candles now. The last thing they now. want to do is talk about problems. All right. Actually, I think I know a way to get through to him. <sighs> Setting up the fishing trip, how sweet. Okay, that was a good scene. But I will admit, it was a little unnecessary. I don't think you need to build up to the boat scene, as the boat scene clearly explains its purpose, which is laying the foundation for future character development with Sonic. I know, how nice. So there's this sticker that they made specifically for the movie that's in the style of NASA's logo, but it just says SBU. It's definitely something, as anyone is legally allowed to use NASA or their logo, so this is certainly something in the Sonic universe. And after researching, since I can't find anything on this, I think it will be revealed in Sonic 3. Like how the purpose of the map from Sonic 1 was revealed in 2. Shadow inherently as a character has a lot of ties to space. So this very well could be where we learn a bit about the movie universe's space agency and what role they play in Project Shadow. And no, the SBU does not stand for Sonic Buller's Ultimate. And I know that's what you were thinking. So yeah, again, I'd say another good removal. Now, let's go to the third scene. I Three out of seven. That's so crazy, guys. <sighs> Mind blown. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm excited. Play the scene. Baby. God, I yeah. wish a woman would call me this that. This is going to mean so much to Rachel. Uh, and we'll finally get some alone time. Ooh. You know, just you and me. Ooh. And I think it's a good idea for Sonic to have some independence, right? Yeah, sure, he'll be fine. Plus, I told him he can go to Wade if he needs I kind of love the dynamic of them treating Sonic Wade like their kid. Are you sure for the weekend? Uh, you be... Wade, Wade? Yeah. Sheriff. Uh -huh. Oh, and this is where they explain Wade being left in oh, charge. Oh, man. Ah. Okay. Oh. just hope our little blue devil's ready for this kind of responsibility. His socks aren't rolled I, down, they just I mean, look like that. He hasn't had the best track record lately. I hate that. I, I hate about that. Him too, but we have to let go and trust him at some point. I would delete the scene for that alone. He'll be okay. Yeah. We did have a man-to-man -man boat talk. And where I come from, man to man Botox. Maybe it's the ADHD, Screen. but you ever notice Botox and Botox sound the same? You're a dork. I'm a dork. Yeah. Really? <laughs> I'm a dork? Uh huh. Well, if I'm a dork, then why 
why am I wearing this awesome shirt? So overall, good scene. I'll say right off the bat, good removal. I, that, that scene gave me nothing except for seeing Sonic socks and them not looking how I wanted and being angry. I expected them to be like long tube socks that he rolls down, which I believe is supposed to be the look anyways. But the reality is they're just weirdly shaped and for no reason. Amazing stuff, guys. I'm not even gonna say that was a good removal. That was a great removal. And that scene literally gave me nothing. So nothing to talk about. Next scene. It's Wade. Oh yeah, Wade. Who needs a car when you got this super cool bike you've had since I- Ow! You pinch him. Uh, this man does not seem familiar with basic mechanical operation. Oh, Wade? Don't underestimate him. Okay. <laughs> Don't overestimate him either. <laughs> Try not to cry and pick it up and start. Again. Try not to cry. Literally me sitting down to edit a video for 30 hours. Hey, Wade, you all right over there? Hey, yeah, you know, I'm, uh, I'm just uh, fixing up the old biker rooney <laughs> Yeah, I thought maybe I'd get back in shape, shed a few LBs, you know. Plus, someone did steal a police car, so. So, Wade, I want you to meet someone. He's not from around here. Tails? Wasn't that Tails that stole the police car? Who's right there? Is your headquarters secure? The animation looks so place? weird. Yeah, super secure. No one comes in or out. Well, except for my mom. But what she'll do is make us a pretty cool snack plate. You guys like ants on a log? Ew, what? Not real ants. Raisins that you sprinkle on peanut butter that's laid on a bed of celery. You guys never had that snack before? Ugh, it still sounds disgusting. All right, you know what? That's the first scene that I'm gonna say was a bad removal. It was short. Decently funny, and overall, just, just pretty well paced. The only problem I get from it is the fact that Tails is the one that stole the car, and, and he's like right there. But other than that, great scene. Adam Pally, is it Paley? I don't even know. But he's funny, and that's what matters, right? So we're locking this scene as a keep. They should have finished the CGI and just threw this one in there. But you know, what are you gonna do? So without further ado, scene five. Oh, Opening intro, baby. Okay, so far, so far the same. All right, a, a little different. Wait, was it originally 2D animation? Isn't that like harder than 3D animation? I mean, it is rough, but still, that's a cool way to plan out how the final thing's gonna work. Now, I think this is leading to the deleted scene. I don't think this is it. Interesting. It's day 243 in this. Oh, I thought that part was all CG. I didn't know that was like live action. My only companion is a rock guy named Stone. The question is, for whom am I narrating this? Okay, same joke. Mushroom coffee. It's like something crawled into the filter and died. What are you smirking at? Oh, this is different. Careful, Stone. You're getting soft. What? Stone. Yes, Doctor? What did you put in the coffee? Just a little something to relax you, Doctor. Why don't you lie down and enjoy yeah. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Yeah. 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 I can see why this one got removed. This, this one makes sense. Stone? Stone? Why is that spec growing larger? Because that's an asteroid descending at an incredible rate of. No! See? They're spelling rapidly with this one. Wait! I think he's trying to tell us something!
Okay, bacon. Bacon! Epic, random. I'd like to buy a vowel, Pat. Beacon. Beacon, that's it! An intergalactic beacon with optical frequency multiplier amplified by intensity radiated flux! I could use some more of that coffee. Coming right up, Doctor. <laughs> okay. Microdosing reference, epic. I'll be home by this weekend. So that's where you got the idea from the beacon. That makes sense. If my calculations are correct, and there's no reason to say if, because they always are. This quill. Not a necessary like scene, though, I will say. We could figure out the making the beacon regardless. Let's light this candle. See who comes in the night. Ah! Okay, epic first scene. So thoughts, I like that one a lot, but it's not super necessary. It would have made the intro longer, probably upset some parents, and you can figure out why he made the beacon. To be honest, the letters falling still doesn't really make sense. I guess it's from the mushroom coffee and they don't, they're not actually falling, but you know, probably for the best, this one was removed. We don't need some sort of controversial birds of prey situation again. So overall, I'd rate that as a good scene, but a decent removal. So now, scene six of seven. Just chillin', watching TV, dot, 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 Is this like dot, a placeholder dot, voice for Idris Elba? Dot, That's dot, definitely dot, not him. Dot, 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 I assume his lines were not improv in the same way Schwartz were then. Why are we working with this imbecile? Because that simple-minded space trash is the key to something extraordinary. You can tell the background's not there. Whenever his something arms move, you get revenge on notice how it like fits around him. Think bigger stuff. It's interesting the masking technology the they use in Hollywood. I would have never known designs. that backdrop wasn't even there. My genius wouldn't just be recognized on Earth. It would spread virally to every corner of the galaxy, allowing me to harness all the negative forces of the universe and commune with darkness itself. Wow. That sounds big. It's been on my vision board for years. It's a law of attraction. Didn't you see the secret? Boom. I find it so fascinating to see how these movies are made. Another boring night at home. The hedgehog has returned home. Falsa, which is Latin for wrong-o. <laughs> According <laughs> to my tapping. worldwide network cell tower triangulation, he's lying. All the way. I wonder how they remove that. From the majestic hinterlands. Of Eastern Siberia. That's got to be picked up in his mic or some other. He's mic. a long distance liar. <laughs> yeah, that's more where that came from. Lying? Explain this to me. It means not telling the truth, primarily as a way of deceiving someone. Dishonor. Lying can be extremely advantageous. Watch this. Oh, Stone. Yes, Doctor? Have I told you how invaluable you are to me? Thank you, Maestro. Maestro. I'll never stop. <laughs> Listen up. I have to escort our new friend here to retrieve his emerald. But I need you to stay put and guard the mean bean. The steadfast and adiaphorous heart. Look it up later. This is crucially important stuff. It's all right on this. Can you handle it? Yes, sir. You can count on me. I'm ready for anything. About that. Okay. I'll be ready for that next time. <laughs> I think the Robotnik Stone segments I do not are like the funniest part. Guarding by this far. place is of no relevance to our mission. I know. I lied. There's no room on the ship for Stone, unless you want him in your lap. Dishonor. This is, is how, how I, roll. I roll. Legendary. So that was a pretty good scene. I'm gonna be entirely honest and say, I don't know what was added. Was just him throwing the beans at Stone added? I don't entirely remember what wasn't in the original movie. I feel like that was just unfinished or extended, but I actually liked the extension, adding a joke in there, gave it a little levity. I like that. 
I love the idea that Agent Stone is now prepping to have coffee beans thrown at him. The most fascinating part for me is just seeing all these unfinished effects and how they work. For example, the wall in front of Agent Stone and Robotnik, like the bar of the Mean Bean Coffee Co., that's real. Like, they built that. That's really there. But the other side Knuckles is on, that's not even there. Now, we're seeing before the finished effects, but we're not seeing the raw footage, so I don't know what was there. Maybe just like a black wall. But all these things, while they're small, are what make up a movie, and I find it really interesting. Like how they must have removed the audio in the final for Robotnik tapping on the table. Like, there's no way the boom mic did not pick that up. I think Robotnik and Stone's relationship is like on-screen magic. They have such good chemistry together, which is actually new for Eggman, because despite Eggman having a plethora, generally two at a time, of henchmen, they've always, like, kind of despised him, or at least heavily resented him. And I've never seen any so passionate and loving as Stone. And the way Robotnik just does anything he can to make his life miserable, I think it's an interesting dynamic. I like it. So with that, the final clip. Seven out of seven. This is what we've all been waiting for. Cue the drum roll. Keep rolling, drums. Keep rolling. Okay, now, video seven. Officer Wade. Goaded character. Hey, Bob. Hey, Maria. How you doing? Can't hear you. I'm moving too fast. I remember seeing this being filmed and being like, what, what am I looking at? Town's looking like it's in good hands. <laughs> the Mandark laugh. <laughs> meep, meep. <laughs> Coming through. Ah. Just working on my moves. That was a pretty sick trick. You can't lie. How you doing? I didn't notice the F minus before now. Closed. Doesn't seem right. Sorry, Sonic. I guess I'm gonna have to ruin Tom's vacation. Thank you, one clear. Get me Tom. ASAP stat. This is Commander Walters. I got a call from local law enforcement in Green Hills, Montana. Says it's urgent. I put him... Put him through. Wait, is that you? Tom, thank God. Robotnik is back. You wanted to talk to Tom and they gave him Walter? That doesn't make yep, sense. Yep, we knew that already, Wade. Well, do you also know that he's got an evil lair set up inside the mean beat? What? Okay, Wade, listen to me very carefully. Do don't oh, move. No. You understand? I'm gonna get there as fast as I can. Go in. You want me to go in there? No, wait. Do not go in there. Understand? Go in there. Copy? You got it, big dog. I heard you loud and clear. Sure for the weekend. It's in a very in. unfortunate cutting out of signal. You believe us now? This is Commander Walters. Scramble every piece of hardware in Green Hills, voice. Montana. We have a code mustache. I repeat, code mustache. Bring that chopper in. Okay, I'll say it right now. That's one of the scenes that should have stayed in. It was, it was only a few seconds longer, right? It was like an extra minute. It explains why Wade broke in, because before it's like, Wade, why did you break in? You shouldn't have done that. You're supposed to be the scared weak guy. This goes against your entire character. But because of Tom telling him not to go in and him misunderstanding, that makes sense. That's a great reason for him to break in because he's not the hero, but he has to be. Wade's not the hero Green Hills wants, but the hero Green Hills needs. So yeah, this one I will say would have been a good addition. More Wade scenes. I don't know Wade got cut out twice. Both of these scenes were good scenes. Other than the fact that, you know, Wade's like, my cop car is missing, and Tails is just there like, uh-huh, gee, wonder where that cop car went. But yeah, great deleted scenes. And now that we've watched the seventh one, you know what you have to do, right? You are legally obligated to subscribe with the bell set to all notifications to me. 
if you do not sub with the bell set to all notifications, you're opening yourself up as a liability to get sued. You might be like cheating. You can't sue someone for not subscribing. But all of you know, my dad's the owner of America and he said I can sue whoever I want. So unless your dad owns America, I would uh shut the f up. Wow, that, that got a little aggressive. Follow the Twitter at Sonic underscore show. And you know what? Because I'm such a good man. Go follow my fiance's Twitter as well at Red Panda underscore show. She is literally the number one source of Sonic show news. Literally no one else reports on my life. I don't even have a no context account. How am I one of the biggest Sonic tubers and I don't have a no context account? Is it because I, I don't really say sus things out of context? Or maybe I do and I don't even know it. Anyways, yeah, sub, bell, follow the Twitters. And what's more important, what's even the most important of anything, next time you see my video, The Sonic Show, in your recommended, click on it. It's gonna be a banger, I, I, I promise. I'm working hard to make some bangers. Next video you see, banger, click on it. Until then, that's all, video over, lots of love, peace, bye. Probably like the fastest outro I've ever done. <laughs> Could this be? Thought you could defeat me? Burn! Burn to us!